What's up, Leo? Yeah, and living there talking head. Coming to you live with Daigo and Glorified Game. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? Yeah, all right, man. Well, it's all right. So tell me, what in the LucasArts are we doing over here? Well, Ed, we're taking a look at Indiana Jones in the Great Circle, the newest Indiana Jones game, and we're trying to Viorify it. We're trying to get it in VR. Oh, so what's this? Is this like a... Like a Vorpex or a UEVR, what, what, what's going on? Well, no, no, there's no VR injection as such. But we were playing the game flat and we realized a lot of the mechanics kind of lend themselves really well to VR. Like you're playing this and you're like, dude, this was made for VR. Let's, let's, why is it not in VR? Let's get it in VR. Okay, cool. So, how about that? Well, Ed, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's call him on Cartoon Carl. Well, let's not call upon Cartoon Carl. All right, come on, let's call upon Cartoon Carl. Hey guys, and we'll get to the bottom of how we how we how we do this. Uh, yeah. Hey Carl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Cartoon Carl here, back again with another tutorial. How we all doing? All right. Hey Carl. So you want to uh, you want to help explain how we got this into VR here? Uh, yeah. So as, as you rightly said, this is not done with any official VR mode. There is no mod. There's no VR injectors currently for this game. So we had to take a different route. We had to basically hack this into our headset. Hack it? Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. People confuse us with modders all the time, but we are not modders. We are hackers. We take already existing softwares and methods and we, we, we mash them together to try and build something into VR. That, that's what we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we've done. <laughs> uh, all right, so I can see this all up in my headset. It's in stereoscopic 3D. I can look around. I can use my motion controls to a certain extent. Ha, uh -huh. ha, how am I doing this? Uh, yeah, all right. So let's go over the first step, preparing the game. All right, so first thing you gotta do, you gotta run the game at least once to create configuration files. All right, run it at least once. And while you're in there, open up your options. Go to the display settings and make sure they look like we have here. Now, depending on your system, you might be able to bump up that resolution. It all depends on what your machines can handle. All right, but we're basically looking at field of view, and we're going to be turning off certain effects. Just film grain, chromatic aberration, all of these kind of effects that shouldn't really exist. If you yourself were within the character's shoes, you wouldn't expect any camera effects like lens flare or any of that to be in your eyeballs. So let's just turn them all off, and we'll get a performance gain as well. Just follow along on screen. All right, once that's done, exit your game. Go into Steam, see where the game is, right click it, go to Properties, and add this line as a launch option. You'll see it down in the description. Without that, the VR hack will not work. Okay, you need that in there. Okay, and that's it. In terms of preparation, you're good to go. All right, all right, all right. So we're now ready to move on to the next step with the with the with the dang playing this in VR, right? Well, yeah, we can move on to the next step, setting up stereoscopy. All right. <laughs> Here's what we gotta do. Go to link in the description and download Reshade. You want the version with add-on support. Okay, go ahead and download it. All right, open it up. Go ahead and point it to your thegreatcircle.eu, okay? You wanna choose Vulcan, and you wanna uncheck everything. All right, now check Super Death Tree. Go next, and you wanna check Free Pi by Corsair. Very, very important. Go ahead and get that installed. Now, if you go to our link in the description there, you're gonna see additional shaders, okay? Go ahead and download them. Open up your game folder. Locate reshade shaders. Open that up. All right, now copy and paste the shaders you downloaded from our description in there. Those are additional shaders you're gonna need. Okay, you're done. Now, go ahead and open up your game again. You're gonna notice the reshade menu appear when you press home. You can go ahead and skip the tutorial or you can watch it, it's up to you. All right, go ahead and make sure Super Def 3D is active. We don't need to do anything here. Actually, Blue Sky Defender, the creator of Super Death Tree, has already optimized this for the game. There's an automatic profile built in. All right, next thing you want to do is hit polybarrel distortion, okay, and make sure your settings look like ours. It should already look like that, but sometimes, don't ask me why, but sometimes it reshade, it resets it on a new install. So just make sure they look like how they are on screen. And finally, you want to make sure that that is enabled as well. This is what's going to allow the head tracking and controller input, okay? Good. So you're going to notice now that the game is displayed in side-by-side -side tree and it's got this weird sort of black border around them. That's so that the image looks correctly scaled within your HMD. So that's it. It's the 3D sorting. Okay, okay, cool, man. So now I can play the VR? Uh, not quite. 
What do you mean, not quite, man? Come on. Well, we still need to get it into your headset. Yeah. Okay. So for this, what we're gonna need is virtual desktop. So on to the next step. Okay, so it's crucial we're gonna use virtual desktop. Now this is not the streaming app, this is the app specifically built for Steam and Oculus, alright? Slightly older, but go ahead and open it up. You should see a screen like this, alright? Just make sure the settings look like we have, in terms of the size and distance of the screen. Make sure the headlock is enabled, all that. Now, if you open up your HMD, hit the half side-by-side -side option and you're gonna be in stereoscopy. Perfectly fit within the boundaries of your lenses. Okay man, so now I can play it in VR? Uh, technically yeah, you can play it in VR with a gamepad, but if you want motion controls, there's another step. <laughs> God damn man! Well, that's the thing with hacks, man. They're not as refined as mods. Alright, come on. <laughs> One more step and that's your motion controls. Hey. Alright, so go link in the description, alright? Scroll on down. First thing you will gotta do is download the entire repository there. This option right here. Click it. Get that all downloaded on your system. Okay. Next step, go to releases. Okay. Download the latest build. Open the contents of that latest build. Copy them. Go to the original repository you already downloaded and paste it. Okay. Now if you go back to our description, you'll see a link for indianajones.py. Go ahead and download. Okay. Open up your free Pi VR folder. Open up your scripts. Place the file in there. Now go back one step and open up VR Companion. Alright, hit run script. Now in the drop down menu choose Indiana Jones. Let it run. That's it. If you followed everything correctly, you'll have the game running in Stereoscopy 3D. You'll have it running in your HMD. You will have head tracking and you will have motion control support in the form of gestures. What do you mean gestures, man? Alright, so basically your motion controls, think of them kind of like how Nintendo Wii or the Switch Joy-Cons work. Alright, it's not sixed off VR. But you have gestures, so like you can punch with your left hand, you can punch with your right hand, you can swing your whip. You've got holsters, so if you move your right hand down to your right hip and click it, that'll activate your whip. Put your right hand up to your right shoulder, click it, that's your shotgun, etc. Oh, cool, man, yeah. Yeah, so it makes it all a bit more immersive. So that's it. Enjoy. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, thanks, Carl. Right, so there you guys go. That is Indiana Jones and the VR hack of awesomeness. That is how you can play this game in VR. Now, it is theoretically possible to get six off head tracking. Right now, just treat off. It is possible, however, if we can get free cam modification for Indiana Jones, it may be possible to reverse engineer that to make a six off head tracking system with free pie. But as it stands, as of today, you can just play it in treat off. There's also a handy shader we've included to toggle the hood off and on for that extra bit of immersion. Sadly, just due to the nature of the hack, some of the hood is not visible when in the headset. It's worth bearing in mind. Things like waypoints, they're perfectly visible so the game is still playable. But some, say, instructions will be just outside your peripheral. Now again, that may change in the future. You can figure out a way to scale the hood. But as of today, it's not exactly possible. So there you have it. Indiana Jones, OGD, treat off head tracking, VR gesture control system. I think it's safe to say that this is the most immersive way that you can play Indiana Jones in the Great Circle as of today. Alright, enjoy! So I guess we're gonna leave it there you guys. Uh, like, comment and subscribe if you've any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like us to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here and uh, yeah follow us on all social medias uh, all links will be in the descriptions and yeah looking forward to seeing you there also all right this is where Forrest the fight games out a friend of yours a competitor he was yeah listen up exclusive deal time very, very if y'all in the market for a meta headset accessory or game Please. in the store Check out our affiliate links in the description for some money off on those bad boys. Not only will you get a sweet little discount on any of the sales, but we also get a little sun sun, you know what I mean? It'd be much appreciated to help the channel out. Thanks, y'all. Yeah.